quick and easy way to make stuffing as a side dish. Um, you can prepare this for the holidays, but it's a great winter side dish if you're making chicken for the family, um, even a pork roast. So I use stovetop stuffing, but I add things to it to make it different. Stovetop is delicious by itself, but watch how I doctor it up a little bit and add some stuff and it's going to be so delicious. You'll never make stuffing from scratch again. So follow along. It's quick, it's easy, and it's so delicious. You're going to love it. So what you're going to need for this is, I'm using two boxes of the six half cup serving. So one box is three cup serving. I'm using two boxes of that. It's Thanksgiving and we're going to um, be sharing our side dishes today. So you're going to need one or two boxes of stovetop stuffing. I use the chicken stuffing. It's just what I prefer. You'll need some craisins. This is about three quarters of a cup of craisins. You could use brown raisins or golden raisins if you don't like craisins. I'm using pignoli nuts. You can use crushed walnuts, pecans, however you like it, but I love it with pignolis. I have one onion which I've diced. It's a medium sized onion. And then I took three stalks of celery, long stalks of celery, and I sliced them thinly. Okay, so you're going to need butter the way it, it says um, on the box. And three cups of water for two boxes. If you're using one box, it's one and a half cups of water. Okay, I also have some olive oil and I am going to put that in the bottom of my pan and add my onions to brown. Nice and hot. Okay, so we're going to brown the onions. And when your onions are done browning, I'll show you the next step. So like I said, I'm preparing this for Thanksgiving. I've been cooking this morning. So if you see some schmutz on the stove, I apologize for that. Sorry keep the schmutz off, but you can't help it when you're browning things with onions and oil. Okay, so now our onions are starting to brown. And they're definitely translucent, but they're browning. And as these onions are browning, I am going to add my pinolis, otherwise known as pine nuts, my craisins, and my thinly sliced celery. And we're just going to brown this along with the onions for a few minutes so that the flavors all mix together. And it, I like it when the pinoli start to brown. It gives it a nice nuttier flavor than they have without browning them. Pignolis are nice if you want to put them in a salad. I love to make an arugula salad with some goat cheese, craisins, and then I can toast my pignolis with a nice balsamic dressing. So delicious. Going to make sure it's evenly covering the bottom of the pot so that the pinolis toast up a little bit. You can hear that sizzling. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. And as you're browning your craisins, they're going to plump up a little bit because of the oil. I love craisins as an alternative to raisins. They're tart and they're sweet at the same time. So I see the pinolis are starting to brown. And like I said, the more you brown this, the better the flavor is going to be because it really brings out the aroma and the flavors of the onions and the, the craisins and the celery and the pinolis and they mix together so well. Okay. 
Okay. So like I said, this is a quick dish. It's fast and it's easy. All right, we're going to add three cups of water to this because I'm using two boxes of stove top. So that's two boxes of the six half cup servings. I'm gonna add my water slowly. You don't wanna have your face over the pot when you're doing this because it's going to let off some steam. Okay. And because I'm using two boxes, I'm going to add a half a stick of butter to this. Okay, we're going to bring the water to a boil. And once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add our stuffing. So let the water boil. Okay, so our water is boiling. Our butter is melted. And it's time to add our stuffing. I'm going to lower the heat on the pot. And here's our stuffing mix. And we're going to put that in quickly get all of it as moist as we can. Okay, and there we have it. We'll just keep the heat on for a little bit. So if there's any excess water, it will evaporate. Mixing it around. Oh, that is going to be so delicious. I'm going to shut the heat off. So if you have a lot of water left over in there, you can put a cover on the pot so that it absorbs the water. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put a cover on that, leave it there for a few minutes. So here we have our beautiful stovetop stuffing that we added craisins, onions, pignolis, and celery to. It is so delicious. Your family will not believe that you didn't make this from scratch. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Share it with your friends and family. Share the video. Please subscribe to our channel because we have lots of great videos coming up. And make sure to leave a comment if you've enjoyed this, if you have any suggestions. Happy holidays. Enjoy the stuffing and stay tuned for more fun videos. Bye y'all.